Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. To my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is local transport and before we get into any lessons boys and girls it's very important for us to sanitize so let's take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we will be doing sight words sums and the sound On our exercise now, I'd like us to please move to page 17. On page 17, we are going to be doing a word search. Now, a word search is very fun, boys and girls, because how we're going to do this word search is by taking our sight words. Now, remember, we read our vocabulary words, and this time, we're going to do sight words too. So, let's start with our vocabulary words. We have boat, train, car, bicycle, aeroplane, bus. Well done! Now we all know what these things are. So as we go along in the lessons, you'll definitely see pictures of them. Let's now do the side words. Today we have four. Up look so we're going to look for our vocabulary words and our sight words in the word searches below please make sure that you're following so that you know how to start and when to look for your words now i only have a small piece of the word search that we're going to do together we're going to look for these words we're going to start with the word bus so we're going to first underline the first letter which is b, b. so we're going to look for a b, b and then after that we are looking for a a and an a is right here then the last one we're looking for is a s now we have found our word bus so we're going to circle it slowly, boys and girls. Make sure that we can still see the letters. Round and up. Then you connect it to where you started. Good job, everyone. Now we're going to cross out the word bus. The next word we're looking for is the word car. We're going to start with the k, k, k to look for the word car. 
Instead of looking down like I did, first, I'm going to look across. So, there is a B here, that's not what we want. Instead, we want a K, and I found one. Then we want the A, ah, ah, and it's B, and then the R. So now we have found our word car. So we circle our word, well done. And we come back up and connect it to where we started. And just in case, just in case we want to try and look for it again, we're going to cross it out as well. So the last one is there and I'm sure you can already see it. So it's going to be your job to look for the rest of them. But just for fun, let me help you with this one. <laughs> so we have up. And we're going to look at our word up. We're going to start with ah, the one I've underlined, and look for it. And there it is, waiting for us. So our word up is right here. Again, circle nice and neat, boys and girls, and come to where you started. Make sure that you do your exercise by first reading your vocabulary words, then your sight words, and then after that, look for them in the word search. Have fun, boys and girls, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now, boys and girls, let's do a little bit of mathematics on page 18. On page 18, we have our blocks, but we need to complete the sums. Now, you can use the blocks as counters because they are helping you to get the answer. The first row is always 10. I can definitely tell you that if you count all those blocks on top, they are 10 which means the blocks on the bottom are the ones that are helping us with the sum. So let us begin by doing the second one together where it says 10 plus two. Let's take a look at the counters. Now on my table, I have some counters and my counters are very simply made. These are just bottle tops. So you can make your own counters. You can use sweets, you can use crayons, you can use stones. Just make sure that they are safe. My bottle tops on this side are already 10. Let's count them to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, our sum says ten plus two. And I have two red bottle tops here. So instead of me counting again, boys and girls, we are going to say these are 10 and we're going to continue counting using our red bottle tops. So we say 10, 11, 12. Now we know our answer. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. I want you to try and use the blocks and if you have counters, use them as well to fill in the answers. Take your time with this one, have lots of fun with it, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now boys and girls, let's do something fun on page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing the sound. Now the k sound has two letters, a capital letter k and a small letter k. You are going to trace and write both the capital letter k and the small letter k. 
After that, you are going to draw a line from the circle to the images with the letter K. We have a cake, cat, tree, car. Remember, only the ones that have K in them. And then you're going to write, not write, but circle the K sound in the sentences. Then after that, you are going to color all the things that start with K at the bottom of your page. For now, let's do a few of these exercises together. So we're going to start by tracing and drawing our K. We are going to start from the top line and it says round. Well done. It's almost like a yawn. Round. Very good. So take your finger again and try. Round. Good job. Now we are going to take our pencil. I have my chalk and we are trying the big letter K. We're going to start and say round. Touching the top line, going through the bottom and flicking up a little bit. Well done. So that is our big letter K. Let's try it again. We're going to start just below on the top line and we're going to say round, touching the top line, coming down, still doing a round motion, touching the bottom line with a little flick. And there we go. We have our big letter K. Don't forget to continue going round as you go along. Now small letter K is just like big letter K but it starts on the dotted line. So we are still going round with the small letter K. Let's try that. So we are on our dotted line, just below it actually. And then we say round. Take your time boys and girls because it really needs to be round. And then we touch our bottom line and a little flick. Make sure that where you start and where you end are in the same line. It cannot be bigger than the other one. Let's try again. We're going to start just below our dotted line and we're going to say round. Maintain your round. Then we touch the bottom line and a small flick. There we go. Now we have done our capital letter K and our small letter K. So once you're done with those, it is now time to do the sentence you can see where we have a juicy carrot. The sentence says, the crunchy carrot is in the car. And it's your job to circle all the K sounds. So I have done the first one, which was crunchy, k -k -k crunchy. Then the next one is carrot. Remember, we want the sound k. So this one doesn't make a k sound. It says crunchy. So this is not a k sound. Let's move on. The next one is the word car and it has a sound of k. Now you are done with that one. The crunchy carrot is in the car. Good job. Now I'd like to show you a few things that have k in them. The first thing I'd like to show you is a cake. This one looks like it is a birthday cake because it has candles on top and it looks really juicy. <laughs> I think I want some cake now. Uh-oh. <laughs> then we have a vehicle, something that we travel with and part of transport. It is a car. Good job. The next one that we see all around in some buildings is a clock. And a clock makes a sound going tick, tick, tick tick, tick, as the arms move round. 
and then we have something very healthy for us and it's delicious rabbits love it and i'm sure it's my favorite one it is called a carrot look at how beautiful and juicy this carrot is wow then the last thing that we have that is on top of my head is a cap K -k cap so we have a cap carrot clock car and cake there are many other words that have k in them boys and girls and when you have the time you should look for them for now i would like you to please finish your exercise take your time go around gently and flick very well i will see you soon after the advert break Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I really hope you had fun. I know I did. So, if you are lost or you're not sure what to do, that's okay. You can always ask for help. Just make sure that you end up finishing your exercises by yourself. Now that we are done, we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and we are rubbing inside our hands. Very good. Around our hands. Good job. In between our fingers, on our wrists and our fingertips too. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi was supposed to come and pick me up after the lesson. We're going to the park. But I don't see him anywhere. Sashi? Oh, there he is. Are you ready to go to the park? Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today. And goodbye. <laughs>